All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Whip to Dash presents. Well, I guess we have a new mod that I just acquired, and it's called The Last of Days Reforged. Now, just to give you an idea, can you figure out what this might represent? What that helmet, the armor you're seeing here, well, maybe I should just give you a closer look. How about that? Notice the script writing. Notice the. Does this remind you of Lord of the Rings? Oh, too late. You guys guessed wrong. Okay. Well, anyways, if you were guessing right, then good for you. For all you Lord of the Rings fans out there, there is a new mod for Mountain Blade Warband. And this is an awesome mod. As you can see, the wonderful, wonderful lighting. Um, I'm on medium graphic settings, as you can see here. I'm just going to show you. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm setting all mine on medium. I don't want anything too high. I want to be able to enjoy the game and enjoy the um, play here. Let's raise our character detail up just a little bit. Give him something. I don't need corpses. We can take that off. Don't need rag dolls. Blood stains. Of course we want those on. This is going to be our rated R Lord of the Rings practically. So back to the return. Let's see if it did anything for our character here. Oh, just a little bit more details. So anyways, as we're going to get started here, I'm just going to give you guys a, a rundown of an overview, I guess, of this new, wonderful, amazing mod we have here. Um, in the processing of this, it looks like this individual who took another mod off of the TLD team I want to say took. I, I hate to say that. Let, let me say that. Take. He took a piece of it and decided to say, I think I can do a good job. I think I can improve because I have not played the original Last of Days edition. But um, I'm pretty sure he put, a, he put a lot of hard work in this. And this is only just a, a small minor version. I'm pretty sure when he gets back onto, on this. And if he does, then before Bannerlord, re I should say, arrives then maybe uh, we might get a chance to experience that a little bit more. Um, how far can you go with the Lord of the Rings, right? Well, anyways, so we're going to come down here. Now, I chose my class. He is an elf, so I pretty much came from the woodlands around, around here. You've got a Rivendale camp. Now, here we go. we got some of these um, Lothlorien cities. We have these little big tree cities, yeah. Um, the Gates of Moria, which I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with that. So we've got a lot of um, iconic, um, I want to say, cities, locations, places that really stuck out with the, the series of the Lord of the Rings and the movie itself. Um, you've got, look at this, you've got a little Corsair camp. Um, these are up here. This is Gondor's. Now, now this goes into detail because if not many people read the books or maybe you haven't, um, there's a lot more cities. There's a lot more time lapses here. Um, this covers a lot of things. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys are like, oh, I wonder where the Black Gates might be. Well, you see the gates of Moria, and we're going to go up here to, you know, the Isengard area. Now, this is obviously where Saruman hangs, and you're just like, oh, is that right? Yes, that's right. I'm just going to give you a little preview here. We're going to zoom in. Right there, if you can barely see it at the top of the garrison list, you can see Saruman. He's sitting in there somewhere. Now, eventually, I'm pretty sure I won't take over his realm and now for the duration I want to say the duration for the uh, moment of this video that I want to show now do you guys remember in the movie of the boat sailing with the uh, young hobbits going through here this river you see the two statues going into the human realm so yes very iconic so this guy really like I said he really took a nice detailed look at the um, actual maps of Lord of the Rings and if I can scale it now obviously it doesn't seem that I have too much brightness here um, let me see if I can s 
move this up just a little bit so you guys can see um, what exactly here I'm talking about. Now as I screen away, now look at here, you have your actual geographical map names over here. Mordor. This is our wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Mordor. And as you can see, I went over here to this orc patrol camp. Now you got to understand these orcs are going to be deep. And as I... Um, I guess showed in an earlier demonstration which I'm going to do again we are going to get in a fight now I'm picking this fight because hmm that's not gonna do me no good I need some orcs. Give me some Yurikai. Ah, here we go. You know, anyways, we'll, we'll just pick on these guys here. Just give you guys the battle style of this wonderful game that I've noticed. And, and I don't know if you guys have seen this. I'm running a very... Um, I'm running a crap top, as of what I call it. I'm running a 2.4 gigahertz with an AMD Radeon... 7500 G okay I'm running minimum specs here but the thing is is I'm using medium graphics so and I'm having wonderful performance even as I'm using a recording because it's really hard to record on a laptop now look at that I just took that guy out in one arrow that's amazing as my luck has been horrible I should go steal this guy's horse for sure. Oh yeah, I am definitely stealing it. Since I have not bought my own horse. Now get off your horse. Don't kill my horse, I just got him. Oh, and there he goes. Down the horse goes. You guys are picking the wrong fight. Oh, I'm going to take that horse off. If I could just get a slice towards his head. I'm taking chunks out, but that just doesn't seem to be working. Down you go, buddy. Oh wow, reinforcements, huh? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come get it, come get it. Now, I'm a level two here, just trying to make myself way in the world. And these guys here are just kind of gangbang me. Yeah, you can just suck on that there, buddy. Now obviously we saw one guy get away. That's all good. They didn't leave me no loot anyways. Oh, but hey, we leveled up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yep, yep, yep. We did some leveling up. Now, I've got my agility. And I'll, this must have been just because of the character I picked since he was an elf, as you can see. Um, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Done, done. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't mean to do that. I guess I can edit him again. Obviously, I didn't know that I could do that. Um, awesome. Another awesome feature in here. I'm going to go ahead and put some intelligence. We need some extra stuff on here. Obviously, I'm going to jack up on that. Um, power draw. Nah. I do like riding up there. I, need, I, I do need a nice horse. Jack my archery up to whatever that is. I, I like to balance between certain skills that I use the most, but all the other skills, if I got spare points, throw them in there. Whatever. Who cares? So anyways, as you can see, that's kind of like just a, a glimpse of the gameplay in this. Um, I have soon yet to discover more. But, you know, in my findings, I'm pretty sure there will be more to... Um, 
show on more videos and later videos. And I'm pretty sure that we are going to have plenty of time to do that. And uh, I'm trying to look for some certain patrols out here. See if we can just go beat up on some guys. Not necessarily us beating up. Here we go. But you're going to be leveling up your guy a lot. So, I mean, I will say this. It is easier to level up your guy on this game than it is in most of the other mods of Mountain Blade Warband, Mountain Blade, and Mountain Blade fucking Conquest. I mean, just about all the modules. I'm going to say this guy. We're going to put a hands up for Thor. And I'm just too lazy right now to go find the link in the description and give you guys a fast link. But you can always find You can find it on the. If you're a Mountain Blade gamer, then you can find it on the uh, Mountain Blade database, MDDB as they call it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I think I picked a fight with a bunch of goblins. Wow. Now, these are actually goblins. These aren't orcs. And I'm going to tell you something about these goblins. These guys can be annoying and they overwhelm just from earlier experience. Look at this. I'm getting mobbed. I mean, these guys are just like. Look at this. Now I could just cheat and jack up my stats, which I don't want to do. I want to kind of get an idea of how this game is really structured. Oh, wow. They're going to lock me in. Look at these goblins. They're just locking me in. Come on. You guys are going to let me out? Huh? Huh? I guess not. I'd like to just get out and be quit being surrounded by them. How about I just kick them? Can I kick them? I want to kick them like five feet. I don't know if that worked or not, but... Oh, this guy just comes behind me. Look at the realistic, if you guys can, I don't know if you guys can hear the realistic of sounds that's going on here. You hear the moaning, screaming. <laughs> I took his breath. That's exactly what my whole point is, to take your breath, buddy. Now. You need to get away from me. You know, I'm just going to kick you to death. Look at that, look at that. Just kicking them. Just kicking them. Oh, you are a pest. Now, I'm not going to let these guys just get away so easily, just since they were giving me a hard time. Look at that. I'm practically one shotty now. I'm. It, this has to be my agility or something, something that's just making me amazing in archery. Maybe it's just because my elven... My elven blood here. Elven blood. I spilled a lot of goblin blood all over the place. I wonder if it smells like shit around here. Continue. Ooh. So we'll take these little scrap pieces of metal, which, as you can see, they give you 250 rest points. Respect points or respect what I don't know what they want to call them on this game But that's just for see now and I'm, I want to tell you I just put in this money to you see this is just for Gondor So if I go into another region, I'm gonna be broke. I'm not gonna have the right currency because each and every currency Just technically relies on where you're at in the world So a wonderful thing so if all of you guys are Lord of the Rings fans out there, um Truly try this mod out. Um, it is a very, 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 very awesome mod if you are in the single player campaign. Now, it sucks right now. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of them in development for multiplayer. But at the moment, this one is perfect for just campaign mode. Just a quick, you know, you've got to be a Lord of the Rings nut to enjoy this. So, 
I will speak later on other videos and maybe cover a little bit more. Maybe if I get some questions or comments or you know any feedback um, that would be suggested to cover more on this mod. If there's another mod that maybe people might be interested in, so it's interesting. Um, and I just I recommend that I'm gonna go ahead and give it a uh, I want to say nice nine stars out of ten. Now give it a take. I've only put maybe thirty minutes in game time, if that. So that's not a whole lot all right well thank you guys for joining and this is whip to dash signing off and thank you guys for watching and hope you enjoy my later videos and hope you prepare yourself for the soon to come videos so stay in touch and